thought this was supposed to be human barracks. Here at Gilman Barracks, these colonial buildings give us a nice artsy vibe to this place. But their very presence also reminds us of some kind of history and past. Join me for a ride into the past as we trace memories of this space, from its military past to its recent times. Ah! Oh. I'm pretty sure the barracks is not around here. Human barracks used to be just a jungle and swamp area. In the 1930s, the military camp was built to house the British Army 1st and 2nd Battalion. It was named after a famous British Army general, Sir Webb Gilman. The Gilman barracks back then spanned from Alexander Road to Teluk Blana Hill. There were many quarters, a swimming pool and an army cinema. But the pleasant life at the barracks was interrupted by the Japanese invasion during World War II. Gilman Barracks was one of the sites where battle took place. On 15 February 1942, Singapore fell under the rule of the Japanese. When the Japanese surrendered in 1945, the British Army reoccupied the barracks. On August 1971, Gilman Barracks was handed over to the Singapore government. I had the privilege of receiving the camp on behalf of the Ministry of Defence. With that, the Singapore Armed Forces moved in and Gilman Barracks was renamed Gilman Camp. Surrounded by hills and greenery, the barracks is the site of many bittersweet memories back in the army days. When I first came here in August 71, what mesmerised me most was the fantastic terrain that we have here. The swing pool used to be just down there, mm -hmm. and then behind us up the hill was uh, where our cookhouse was, the parade square was, used to have the physical training in the morning at the parade square. And I used to make them run from here out the camp, go out Alexandra Road, Belobanga, Henderson, and you come back into the camp. That sounds very far. <laughs> in total, it's about eight kilometers. Wow. Some of the trainees just couldn't make it. We pushed them. And finally, we literally have to carry them on our shoulders and push them out. Carry them? Oh, yes, of course. And that is how, in fact, you ask them today, they become fit, and I become fit in the same manner. Combat engineers are always first into the battlefield and last out. Uh, you go in, you prepare the ground. Those days, I um, used to build bridges. One of those panels, you know, it goes to the side of the bridge. It's about 600 over pounds, and you require six person to carry it. Among the training grounds, there's one spot in Gilman Camp that has the unanimous reputation of being the toughest site. The men refer to it as the Gap. This is a bridging site, the toughest bridge that we ever built in a whole course. The bridge construction takes us three days, two nights. So there's a lot of teamwork involved. Once we complete the bridge, all of us celebrate on top of the bridge, you know, taking photographs, all this. But you know what happened next? Finish it, right? No, no, we have to dismantle the bridge, oh. return the store, clean the store. <laughs> it was very obvious that the training was extremely tough, and there were very good reasons for this. We had to create a new engineer corps in the new army. It was basically a big pioneering mission. The biggest challenge I had at that point in time was training people. Because really, physical fitness and mental fitness are very important, especially when teamwork is involved. Because parts are heavy. Five people, six people carrying. Five can get hurt because of one person who is lacking. And that was the reason why we, I really pushed the people to the limit to make sure that they were able to support each other in extreme situations. Despite the intense training, the men have fond memories of fun times at the officers' mess. Mess is a very unique place. Huh? I personally did my wedding reception here. Your wedding? Yeah. Wow! I really wanted to wear my number one uniform. And I went the one step further where I got sword bearers. So you walk under the arch of the sword as you come into the reception. That was a very, very unique and interesting experience. Yeah. For pride and honour. Yes. <laughs> For your men, yeah. Correct. <laughs> coming back here after so long, it brings back real fond memories and those friendships last forever. And we still, until today, have regular gatherings where we bring everybody together, everybody comes. It is something that tough training doesn't. It is like a gel that 
bind people as one family. In 1984, the Singapore Combat Engineers relocated to Jurong Camp. After Gilman Camp was vacated, it was named Gilman Village in 1996 and repurposed for commercial leasing. In 2010, the site was redeveloped and given its original name, Gilman Barracks, which was launched as the contemporary art centre we know of today. Every Chinese New Year, I will come back here to hang out with my khakis. As usual, I brought some drinks to happy hour together with them. <laughs> Hello, everybody! Sorry, sorry. Wrong <laughs> place, man. Correct what? <sighs> the restored Gilman Barracks is not merely an arts venue. Owing to its rich history, the former military camp invites exploration from people of all walks of life. There was about 60 buildings in this whole area. Actually, it was double the size as it is today. Today, there remains about 10 original buildings from that time. So these buildings that are here today do stand the test of time, and they tell the stories from the past. People who come on my tours at Gilman have actually, many of them have actually served here in the past, whether it be, you know, British soldiers or some of the locals who served here during the SAF times. So they bring their stories to this place and it really adds depth and color to my history and heritage tours here at Gilman. It has been a very rewarding experience for me to learn more about Gilman Barracks' historical past. I think what stood out most for me must be the stories from the former officers of Singapore Combat Engineers. The challenges they faced as pioneers in building the local team from scratch. They worked hard and they played hard and even up to today, they are still meeting up to relieve those good times in Gilman Camp. That is very precious.